Yeah, now you are good to go start, Sopnil. Over to you. Okay. Thank you, Pranay. Uh, welcome, everyone, uh, to this session of uh, Mocky. In this particular session, we will discuss on the screen and the forms in the Mocky framework. So uh, as I can see, we have the audience of the uh, wide variation from beginner to very experts in the session. So we will keep it as simple and discuss, start uh, discussing very, uh, very simple things. And then gradually, we can discuss on more, more complicated things. So uh, great. So let's, let's get started. So you can see uh, uh, the starting point uh, for, for our discussion or the session will be uh, the document prepared by David uh, and the Moki uh, community. You can see uh, uh, screens, uh, if, you, if you go to the Moki.org, you will find the uh, good documentation available on the uh, topic XML screen. So this will be the, our uh, uh, starting point and we will discuss the points mentioned in this document. And then in the second part of the session, we will discuss on the XML forms, which is, again, you can find it on the uh, user inter uh, under the heading of user interface. It's XML form. So what are the different forms and how we can use it? So uh, this will be uh, the agenda for our session. We will start with the uh, uh, getting the idea of what a screen is and then uh, a little bit details on it. And then we will move forward to the, the form uh, part of the Mocky framework. So let's start with the screen. So uh, screen is uh, not, uh, the screen word is not uh, very restricted words to the Mocky framework. It's, it's, uh, it's a common word. So whatever you can see on the screen, uh, it's we terms as a screen, right? So there are, in, in any, any of the application, a user can see multiple pages. So we generally term them as a screen or in, in, in various different framework, they, they, they use different terminologies. But here we use it as a screen. So, uh, so, uh, so there are two ways uh, to uh, manage the screens. So it means uh, uh, as a hierarchy of sub screen, or, or maybe a screen, maybe node in a graph that tied to other nodes by transactions. So, uh, so let me take an example. Uh, I'm I'm uh, accessing the demo dot mocky It's a, a officially demo instance of the mocky. So now I am going to the example component. What we will do is uh, we will uh, uh, see the uh, code of the example component so that you can get uh, better knowledge of uh, how actually internal things are happening. And the same applies to all other components available in the uh, Mocky framework. So uh, I, I access the demo uh, instance for the Mocky, and then this is the our uh, example application, right? So uh, so you can see, uh, uh, let me just uh, uh, again show you how I go to the uh, example component so that uh, you will better, uh, better get to know and we will track the, the workflow for accessing that site. So I clicked on the example component here and you can see uh, my URL is changed and I'm accessing the find example screen. There are other screens as well here, means uh, you can see we have the uh, features screen and then other screens as well. So the first question is whenever we hit the uh, example from the menu, we go to this default screen. So let's let's break uh, this code. Uh, so uh, here is uh, my uh, uh, Mocky code. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's it's the plain default everything. Uh, all the components which are offered by the Mocky, I have just cloned it. And uh, you can find this, this details of how to set up the Mocky and the official website. And they, these are just simple steps to set up the Mocky. Or you can, uh, you can uh, just uh, get the more details of this in, on the website. So uh, let's start with this exam example component. So as you are aware, our all custom components or the components which we build uh, are, are placed in the runtime, then component in the component directory. So this is how it is placed. Then we have, uh, uh, this is our, uh, basically the component structure. Uh, uh, in our previous session, uh, Deepak have given the good idea about how the component structure work in the Mocky. So if you are, if you are uh, new to this structure, I will, I will recommend you to visit the, the previous video on the channel. So uh, this will give you the 
uh, overall idea and the all the basics which you need to understand for the market so i will not go into the detail of the component uh, uh, hierarchy because it's already covered in the previous uh, videos uh, if you have some confusion i recommend you to please go there and and have a look uh, so uh, for example now uh, let's see how our screen is is get loaded so uh, so this is my example component and this is my screen and this is uh, so all the screen stuff is defined here you can say it's a screen and it's a, uh, it's a all the this directory screen directory having all the sort of screens which are the part of our component so the first thing is example app.xml which is just open and uh, you can see uh, this is uh, there's uh, there's uh, there are uh, there are uh, this is there's something called sub screen right so yeah, here i'm in an example then i'm in an example uh, capital example then i'm in a find example if i click on any example uh, uh, example field so i can see i'm in the example then capital example component then ed uh, edit example so you can see this is a hierarchy which is followed in the marquee means uh, how this uh, edit example is uh, executed before uh, so there is a uh, there is a convention and some ways through this uh, the navigation hierarchy is managed so uh, so this brings us to a topic of sub screen so for example you have a screen so a screen uh, can be mounted uh, in the two places it can be mounted on root or it can be mounted on on the uh, apps so uh, again this topic is again covered in in the previous video so i will not get uh, digger deep into it but just to give you uh, an idea uh, there are two ways uh, either i can mount uh, in the root like popc it's a it's a pop commerce which is mounted on the root and and the example component which is which is mounted on the uh, apps uh, web app right so uh, so coming to the topic of sub screen right so every screen is sub screen of another screen so uh, primarily the first thing is screen will be mounted either on the web root or we can say root like it is mounted on uh, uh, your your domain it's it's our your plain domain and then it is mounted on the root other way it could be mounted on on your apps which is generally the back end screens of the marquee so uh, these two are the web apps so you can uh, you can mount your your component uh, uh, on that so there are in marquee if you want to uh, for example you create a new screen and you want to uh, place this new screen in this hierarchy. For example, I, this, uh, this is edit example. And for example, I create a new screen, my new example. For example, this is my screen. And I want this hierarchy. So how, how I can achieve this? So we will uh, get a deeper look in this. Before this, just, uh, just uh, uh, let's, let's take, take, take have a look at this. So there are four ways to add a sub screen to a screen. So as we discussed, uh, if we have a screen and if we want uh, a sub screen to that parent screen so there are there are two ways uh, there are four ways one is the directory structure this is this is the heavily used uh, pattern in the mocky framework the directory structure uh, i will give you a, a quick brief of this uh, for here and then we will go into the deeper look how this actually uh, implemented so this is you can say it's a uh, it's a convention uh, uh, or the uh, convention followed in the mocky so whenever you followed a certain type of directory structure, Marky framework automatically know uh, what is the screen hierarchy you would like to follow. And whenever the URL hit uh, a certain hierarchy, the Marky framework automatically know, okay, this is the directory I have to go and now to this directory. And now this screen will be the render. Second is the uh, sub screen item element in the, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, XML screen itself. So when there is a XML screen, uh, you can define a sub screen in that screen. Uh, so you can uh, uh, access that. Uh, uh, so it will the child screen will be become the uh, uh, will be the part of parent screen. There's another way: database records. Means you can manage as as we discussed. Uh, we have uh, this sub screen item way. Means uh, uh, we will go go and see actual live example of this. So don't worry if you are not getting it hundred percent. When we see the example, it will be more clear to you. Uh, the, the third way is to adding the database records. Uh, we have an entity called sub screen item entity. 
So basically, this entity maintained the records which screen uh, is a child of which screen. So all that hierarchy is also managed by this entity. And the fourth one is uh, mockicon.xml. So uh, you, if you see uh, this, this hierarchy where uh, this screen will be mounted and which screen is sub screen of what screen, this is also managed through mockicon.xml. So, uh, so let's get started with the, uh, with the fourth point because it's a good starting point. See, I have opened the uh, mockicon.xml of example component. So you can see uh, my example screen, which you can see here. This is the uh, this is the thing which is which is I have selected here. Example screen is mounted on the apps. Apps is my one of the uh, uh, again which which we have discussed that uh, you know, whether your application will be mounted on on the root or it is basically the backend of the application. So uh, or or at the apps level. So what I have done is. I created a screen uh, whose name is example and whose location is this example uh, app.xml. And I mounted this particular screen, or basically, I make this screen as a sub screen of example. So, for example, if I change here for demo example, for example, I just changed the name for, for the demo purpose from example, uh, this name of this uh, screen item from example to for demo example. So whenever we uh, try to access this, so the URL will be something like this. Currently you can see is an example, right? This will become uh, something like this, for demo example, forward slash example, and my new, new example dot, uh, this is right. So, uh, so the name of uh, sub screen item is very critical. It basically defined what will be uh, the hierarchy. So let me undo it. So this is one thing. Then what will be uh, the title of uh, menu when it shows? It's uh, uh, when it is in menu. Uh, what will be the index? And now let's come to the. Uh, so I hope this this uh, this this first uh, the one way to add your uh, screen to a, and uh, to make a screen sub screen of existing screen. One way is to do it the by mockicon dot file, right? Great. So uh, if you have any question, please feel uh, free to post it on the on the uh, on the chat uh, for the Google Meet. Uh, uh, maybe uh, depending on the question, we can uh, take it as a straight away, or maybe we can take it in at an end of the session, right? So please feel free to post your questions there. Uh, now let's uh, go to uh, the uh, screen, right? So. Here it is simply saying, okay, if this uh, screen name is open this screen. So let's open this screen. Uh, I'm just copying it and opening this file. Okay. Okay. You can see uh, uh, this, this, is, this is our screen. So it's, 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 uh, it's having various transactions. We will discuss on this later. Then we have uh, uh, another sub screen. So what happened is when whenever I, I, I for example, click on this example and uh, you see the URL here, I'm copying it and I'm, I'm pasting it uh, here. See, I've just uh, written example and whenever I click enter, see the same screen is get opened. There's the, uh, the, the, uh, let me refresh it, yeah. Example right. So whenever I click on the example, this find example screen get, get open. And whenever I just simply uh, not opening any screen and just writing the example here, again the same find example screen is open. So how does this happen? So let's first uh, first have a look at the uh, first thing, which is uh, sub adding sub screen item uh, in the screen XML. So you can see my screen name is example app. And it also contains the sub screens. So there are uh, other sub screens like uh, example uh, policies, example term, example wiki, example example markdown. So this is the another way to add a sub screen to your existing screen. And also, uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. So now, now you can see I have option here default 
item, which is uh, example, right? So, uh, so this is the way uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can define a default screen. So let's uh, take a pause here. Uh, let's not go into the default item thing because let me let finish this to uh, this topics, right? Uh, so the another way is to add your sub screen through uh, the uh, the sub screen item tag where you can define your screen item. So again, it's the uh, name of the screen and then uh, the menu index and the title what you would like to sh show. So we have seen the uh, config file and then we have seen screen.xml. There's another way database record. So uh, you can simply create a sub screen item record. The way we have created, uh, defined it here, you can uh, see this sub screen item record as well. So, uh, so if, you, if you go and see this entity, uh, let's, mm, let me show this entity to you. Oh, here you can see. So currently, we don't have any record on it, but uh, the same thing can be uh, added here. So you can see we have the screen location, the name is uh, name of the screen which we would like, uh, the location of sub screen, what with the menu index. So all the sort of thing which is managed by the uh, code here is also managed by the database. So it's, it's just a pretty simple straightforward approach. You can try it at try it your own also. So these three things are covered. Now the most used uh, thing, which is the directory structure. So let's come to this example, right? So whenever I hit uh, this example app, uh, it is showing me uh, my default item is example. Now let me uh, let me find where is this example is. So you can see uh, it is not defined anywhere in this screen. Means whenever I try to uh, access this screen, uh, you can see there is only the three occurrence of example. And when I search it in file, uh, I couldn't see anything related to its screen. So where is that screen? So here can be magic where the sub screens are also managed by the directory structure. So you can see currently I'm in the example app, right? And my next screen is example screen. So you can see my file name is example app.xml and I have a similar the directory whose name is also example app. So whenever I open it, you can see this is the file which this is the default sub screen which is mentioned here its name is example.xml so basically this screen is rendering here uh, whenever whenever we try to render the example component so uh, since it is a widely used let me let me just uh, uh, reemphasize on this what happened here we have a screen called example which is a sub screen of this example app but it's not defined anywhere, so where it is. So there's a convention in the marquee. If you have any uh, uh, screen, uh, uh, XML for any screen, if you want to create it sub screens, simply create a directory with the same name as the as you have the screen name. If it, its name is uh, uh, for abc.example, the directory name should be abc.example, right? Uh, uh, so now we have this example.xml. Now you can see again, it's the same pattern. It, uh, basically, this screen not rendering anything. It is just redirecting it to the default sub screen. Now, where is this find example uh, 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 sub screen? So you can see again, we have the same pattern. We have the example uh, dot XML, and we have the same directory with the same file name. So whenever we open it, uh, you can see. Now, now if you go there, you can see this is our file which is finally finally rendering. So. Uh, Whenever I open it, okay, this is the uh, this is basically the find example screen which is rendered here. So uh, basically, when I when I access this example component, you can see this is find example uh, screen which is rendered. So basically, uh, let's let's show you again. So this is my example is, uh, component. Then we have the example, and then finally the example screen, which is which is which is open here. So wait. So this is the one way uh, 
this is the final way where you can use the directory structure to define your sub screen uh, okay so uh, I, we have discussed the uh, this four sub screen pattern now i am just showing you uh, uh, the next topic in it so uh, is it uh, are you comfortable or if you have any question please please feel free to pop up here yeah yeah. Uh, okay. yeah 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 okay Frank, you were saying something yeah i was just saying there is a question from namit regarding the ways to uh, add the sub screens so okay this is something uh, to it so we, we we should be known to the effective way of doing it what can be the what can be called the best practice around it and what are the different cases like in which case which way should be used right great right. so uh thanks Amit, for the question and yeah pranay <laughs> you, you added a, a, a important point here what be best practice should be right so uh let me generally uh, uh looking at the pattern uh now whenever we uh, we we want to define the uh, when we want when we want to mount our screen uh for, for example i create a new uh, new component for example this is my example component and i want to uh and you can see I want to mount my this example component to the uh, to the uh, apps. So one very common pattern uh, followed in the mock is it is generally mentioned in the mock .xml. So when you want your uh, when you want to mount your uh, uh, your example your your applications uh, sub screen to the apps or web root uh, web root or or at the root, you generally define it, it to the mock .xml. Uh, now, when it when it comes to the uh, uh, when it, when it comes to uh, defining the sub screen, uh, uh, when when uh, when it comes to uh, defining the sub screens in the uh, in the in your component, we generally follow the sub screen pattern. Uh, you can see like this: uh, we have sub screen and then uh, another sub screen items. So we generally you will follow uh, this kind of pattern where your where your root. Uh, uh, part of your application having the sub screen tag and then sub screen item and after this when there is a child screen we you can see we have generally followed the uh, the this 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 one pattern uh, which we call it as a uh, directory structure pattern so uh, so uh, so uh, based on my experience uh, uh, what i could, uh, what we have just shared is a general pattern example which uh, general pattern which i seen in the mocky uh, uh, and uh, uh, a, a good recommendation to use it for example uh, when we have uh, our component and we have the hierarchy of uh, child screen in that the uh, the better approach to use this uh, uh, the directory structure because it's uh, uh, it's it's you can find the uh, it's it's used almost everywhere in in the mocky so again there is no uh, exactly 100% way uh, which you, you you should follow but yeah uh, these are the general pattern which we have and we also have a way to manage the uh, uh, your uh, records database records so whenever you have a case where uh, depending on on certain cases the uh, sub screen items changes very frequently or you provided an option to uh, uh, change your sub screen depending on some conditions so in that case definitely the database record will be much more better approach so uh, again, I, I can answer. Uh, there's no one way to just uh, completely say this is the right way. So just I try to answer your question, Amit. Uh, 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 is it helpful, or, or or should we? Sure. Can we move to the next topic? Is it fine? But uh, so yeah, thank you. So uh, great. So this is the uh, uh, directory. If you if you go and uh, have a deeper look into the uh, the this document you can see one is the directory structure which will look something like this then we have a, a screen xml file which is looks something like this then we have a, this database record which we were discussing you have the screen item uh, uh, entity record and then screen location and the sub screen location then we uh, come to the mocky com dot file which we have just seen it is the apps.xml where we mounted our this particular screen now the next topic is uh, uh, standalone screen right so uh, as you, as you have seen right uh, this is the header and footer basically the decorator in our uh, in our fine example screen which is which is finally rendering on on this ui 
it don't have this uh, details of header and footer right it's coming from the decorator or it's uh, 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 it's it's, uh, it's it's there already so uh, this decoration of uh, of any screen for example header or footer are came from the parent screen so uh, this is uh, this is the way uh, this is the uh, the decoration part come from the parent screen if parent screen have another parent screen it would be inherited from there so in, in some cases you just want a standalone screen where you don't want the property of uh, your parent screen to be uh, the again i'm talking of the ui property like uh, like uh, like the header and footer some kind of that you don't want it right for example if you want to export something uh, document in a csv right for example i have create a service screen and here is the option to for example i added an option to, to export this particular record in csv so i can add a service screen here but i don't want uh, this uh, other stuff to show in my csv so we can mark this standalone as a true right so generally that is a one of the use case where you can use this standalone uh, screen there's a simple tag standalone uh, which is uh, this is an attribute in the string uh, screen tag and which if is marked as a true the screen will be treated as standalone that it will not in inherit any property from the parent screen uh, while rendering it oh it's great now let's come in uh, and an important topic which is a screen transaction right so uh, so in general whenever we see any screen what what type of uh, 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 what there are uh, some type of, uh, some of the type of interaction we do with this screen for example i am clicking on something going to a different screen for example i, I open this example component you can see uh, this is here i can uh, maybe change my tabs or uh, maybe i can uh, this is the uh, example uh, open here and i can just simply change its uh, name or may, maybe i can do some kind of operations so there uh, so how this operations or transaction from one screen to another screen managed and uh, maybe if you perform any operation on the screen how it will be managed so this is managed through the transaction so uh, so it's it's a very well very well written here a transition is defines a part of the screen and is how you get from one screen to another this is the one thing means if you want to go from one screen to another you can use transaction or processing input if applicable another way uh, along the way for example i i have uh, 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 I want to process some input while uh, transferring from one screen to another. I can also manage this uh, this via screen transaction. Or oh, uh, as as I, as I know, we uh, uh, some of you uh, are are from the OEBIS background, so I don't want to uh, 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 I don't want to give give you the analogy. See how this is managed in the OEBIS and we are uh, managed in this is Moki. Uh, let, let's give a fresh start because it's an entirely new framework. So I will recommend you to don't uh, uh, bother the mapping of it. Uh, see this as a fresh framework, and uh, uh, you will get to know how it is working, right? Wait. So uh, so let's uh, go to the uh, find example, right? Uh, so there are the various transaction which which uh, happened here. Uh, for example, uh, this is one transaction is. Hey, uh, before that, let, let's see, uh, see it here. We will get back to here, but uh, I just want to quickly show you. Uh, whatever you can see on this screen, this particular screen, whatever is visible to you is, is defined in this widget section. So every, uh, every screen has this visit, uh, widget section. So it will have all the UI which you, which you are seeing here are defined in the widget section, right? Great. So uh, in our, our next topic, we will, we will see, uh, have a detailed look on, a look on it. What, what how it is defined but before that let's uh, come to the transaction topic so uh, there are multiple type of transaction which can happen for example uh, i can create a new example here right so for example i i'm clicking on the create example and this particular pop up is open and i i uh, or no for example i am uh, uh, creating this example for demo post so you can see uh, whenever I click on it, so uh, 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 it will create an example, right? So how this happened? So wait. So I'm creating it, and see, I'm here. It's uh, it's created, right? Uh, for demo purpose, right? 
So let's let's have a look uh, how it is happened, right? Okay. Uh, let's move to the widget section, right? You can see uh, we have here a, a container dialog box, right? So there are various widgets defined in the out of the box mocky. If you want to design a screen, uh, for example, I can see here it's a row. Here is a dialog box. Uh, here you can see I have a drop down. So we have a various widget for all this time of UI component. So it's it's you can say it's a kind of uh, uh, library. And you the more you have idea about this library, the better you can uh, write your code. So for example, uh, uh, for example, I want to create this uh, simple dialog box in the mocky. So uh, I can go to the widget section, and there is a tag called container dialog. So in container dialog, we will simply give the idea of dialog, and then the button text which is visible to you. You can see here it's create example. Then it's a form single which is opening here. So whenever I create here, a form a form is open. Don't worry about what form single is this. Uh, it's it's a part of our sev uh, uh, subsequent uh, uh, the the second part of the second section. I will give you what form single is details about it. So for example, for now, just see, uh, I simply clicked on it, and, and this form is shown to me. And uh, now whenever I do something, right? Uh, for example, I'm, I'm just creating it, right? Create. So basically, this is a form, right? And this is a form. And uh, in, in, in form, you generally, uh, uh, if you are familiar with the, uh, with the, uh, with the uh, HTML kind of things, Whenever you form, submit a form, there's a, some some uh, uh, action happen, right? So whenever I click on this uh, create, what should be happen? I Means so, uh, it, it will call a transaction. So you can see uh, I have defined it, uh, the uh, the in code create example transaction is, is defined here. So whenever this form is submitted, whenever somebody click on the submit button, which is uh, this particular create button, which is of submit type, this particular transaction is called and where this transition is defined it is uh, is there in the in this string so you can see this is a transaction so what we are doing is we are taking input from here and we have defined uh, what transaction to call and then we take this input and we'll process it so i i'm at here uh, create example transition then what the, what we have to do so let me just simply format it so when the create transition is happening, it will calling this particular service. So there are various way uh, uh, to define various thing in the transaction. For example, uh, there could be a simple transaction where I want to process the input and then I want to uh, I want to uh, send my response. There could be a simple way I can, for example, you can say find example here. Whenever somebody click on find example a default uh, uh, response should be dot means it will be on the same screen so here you can see uh, we have called a screen in this transaction so whenever this form will be submitted this transaction will be called and whenever this transition will be called we are calling uh, 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 we are calling uh, a service create example right so uh, let me not uh, go deeper into the uh, uh, screen, screen, uh, the service detail because it will just uh, we will be not means it, it is an entirely different topic. Not not right time to discuss everything here. Uh, just we are understanding this this particular create example service is called. Now when the service is executed, what should be the default response? So the default response is go to the edit example screen. So where is this edit example screen? So it is dot dot. Again, it's a Linux directory structure or directory structure uh, you can generally see in the uh, operating system. Dot dot means go to the parent directory. So see, currently I am in uh, this find example. Dot dot go to the parent. The parent is example, and then go to the edX example. So this particular screen is open when we uh, when this transition is completed. So for example, just to give you uh, again uh, the the way uh, we have uh, uh, I've just created example. Now I will click on the create. So whenever I click on the create, it will navigate me to the uh, okay. So it will navigate me to the uh, the uh, the edit example screen, which is which look like something like this, right? So uh, maybe um, maybe I just got a ping. Maybe we have a question here. Uh, no, no. Uh, 
please throw, uh, throw some light on the macro template. Uh, uh, yes, Pranay, uh, means uh, uh, I, 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 will, uh, I will try to cover it uh, in this session. And uh, maybe if, if, uh, if, we, if we're running out of time, maybe I will, I will share some resources. So uh, thanks for uh, putting it here. Uh, and as, as we follow, I will, I will try, to, uh, try to include this as well. So uh, great. So great. So, sure, great. So uh, now let's uh, uh, let's uh, let's let's so where we were. Okay. So now, nah. so our string transaction. Uh, hope you have understand the string transaction. Uh, so this is a very intensive document available here. You can you can have a look into that how how it works. Then we have a parameters and uh, parameters and web setting. For example, whenever a screen is open, we can define a parameter here. For example, uh, uh, if you talk about this edit example screen, so whenever this screen is open, uh, there could be a, a parameter which you want on this screen. So it could be def uh, simply defined as a uh, as a parameter tag, and we have uh, this uh, required true or false tag. Means uh, if it is false and somebody try to access this screen. And it's not visible available there. Uh, you will simply see an error on the screen. Uh, this particular uh, parameter is not uh, not available here, right? So uh, now let's uh, uh, now let's go to the uh, next topic, uh, which is string actions, pre action is uh, uh, pre actions things. So uh, again, I'm just uh, giving you the glypsum of this because I'm not uh, taking very detail on each point because it's already well documented here. If you uh, have any questions on this. Uh, uh, even after your, uh, your after after practicing it, uh, please feel to post this on 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 the on the comment section uh, in the in the video. Uh, so great. So again, uh, there are uh, some various uh, actions which you would like to take. For example, whenever this screen is open, uh, what should be the actions which should be taken? For example, you can see uh, we are opening this. Uh, Example screen, and you can see uh, whenever I open this screen, this list comes automatically. So what we have written is uh, in the action tag, it goes to the uh, example entity and fetch all the records and put it into the example list. And this example is rendered below uh, in the form list. So whenever we come to the form list topic, we will uh, we will uh, discuss this, right? So uh, right, so. And then uh, there are pre section and always section. You can you can have more uh, details on it here in the document. Uh, great. So XML screen widget. Uh, okay. So uh, so the elements under the screen widgets are the visible elements that are rendered. Uh, or when producing text, there are actually output text. So uh, you can see there are the, the most common widgets which you will see uh, are the form single and form list, which which we will discuss uh, uh, in 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 few few minutes. And we also include some templates, right? So uh, you can see uh, whenever uh, there's called something called the render mode. For example, when when there is a text of type HTML. Uh, and we say we want to uh, render this component. So uh, for example, I, I simply open it. Uh, so you can see uh, how this magic is happened means uh, uh, we have write simple the uh, the XML code and where, where this header and footer and all the HTML style sheet came from. So basically, it's uh, this magic happens at the, the render mode uh, for the uh, uh, this this render more uh, plays this uh, magic here, which uh, render our uh, XML screens to the uh, the HTML part. Uh, right. So now we have another uh, sections which is uh, uh, in the uh, in the uh, screen. So basically, these are all the text which are used in the screen. It's a, a section, another section which which we. Uh, it's a simple section like. Uh, if you have an, uh, a special section which contains another widget, you can define it in a section. Then we have a condition, uh, a condition tag which includes various types of condition, and then fail widgets. For example, that condition got fails. Another which uh, uh, which which fail widgets to be included. 
so uh, great so uh, now let's uh, come to the uh, to the next topic uh, uh, which is the macro template and the custom uh, element so uh, I, I will uh, read this out for you and uh, will give the uh, details what what it means because it's very well documented here uh, because it's one of the good topic ma uh, macro template and the custom elements so in Moki, XML screen and XML fo uh, forms are translated to desired output using set of macro in the free marker uh, template file. There is one macro for each XML uh, element produces output when a screen is rendered. Uh, there are two ways to specify the macro template uh, using the screen render uh, for all screen. Uh, Moki conf, it's a tag uh, a screen pa uh, packet. Uh, then we have a screen template output and macro template location. So see, uh, what what important here is, uh, uh, as a developer, you can always wonder, I'm writing this XML, and what I'm getting in out is actually the HTML, how this magic is getting happened. So uh, what the uh, the backend idea for this is, every tag, every tag which you, which you see as, like this is the uh, container box, means uh, I, I, we have just seen an example, whenever we create on this, uh, a dialog is open and uh, how this magic has happened so every this tag is having a macro template defined there means uh, a macro template is nothing but it's it's a free marker template file which tells the framework oh if this particular tag is there render uh, it in this way so uh, for example uh, i have a list of uh, this particular uh, example right one way is to show you like this Another way I could export it in as a CSV. So this is also managed by the macro template. So uh, so so uh, so well, there is a render mode called for for every screen. Uh, means there uh, uh, we have the screen text output element, which basically defined uh, what should be the render mode. Do I want to render this uh, this particular uh, component in the HTML format, which is uh, readable like or visible like this or i want to uh, uh, want to show it in xml or very common which is the csv pattern or or maybe uh, maybe or uh, xls or you want to export in some uh, another way so this all is defined or or maintained by the uh, macro template so uh, basically it's nothing it's a free marker template file which have the code uh, how we want to render the particular uh, widget right so there are two ways to specify a macro template. One for all screen. If you want to, uh, uh, if you want uh, all your screens to render in a certain way, you can define it in the into conf file. For example, uh, uh, I, uh, there's a just uh, uh, okay. So for example, uh, we uh, we have this our configuration file. Uh, it's again, uh, there are various uh, uh, types of conf file, default conf, dev conf. So whenever somebody say, I want the HTML type of output. So this particular uh, uh, macro template will be used to render the uh, HTML output. And for example, somebody want, I want a uh, uh, CSV. So you just simply define the, uh, the render type as a CSV. And behind the scene, this particular free marker template uh, uh, file will be used to render your all the widgets so this is the one way to define the, uh, in your configuration file if you want to have the uh, it for all the screen and for for single any screen i want a different uh, uh, different kind of uh, 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 for example behavior we can have this tag uh, in all the screens we have available this particular tag uh, which we have this uh, this particular uh, template right for example uh, i i want uh, this uh, template to be this particular screen to be rendered in in uh, in, in view pattern right so uh, this particular uh, template macro will be will be used so you can define it at, at the all screen level or you can have a single screen uh, so this is the way uh, you can uh, you can define uh, which particular uh, macro template you would like to use uh, while while doing the programming? So uh, in general, we have the uh, XML kind, uh, the HTML uh, render mode, and in in uh, uh, in many cases we also use the uh, C 
CSV and other pattern, for example, when you write to export any, any screen, the render mode, uh, 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 the logic will help you there to just simply, a very simple, you can write a program and your template could be, uh, micro template could be CSV and your output will be recorded as a, as a, as a, as a CSV. So, uh, okay. So, uh, so basically, uh, this uh, uh, this again uh, the same topic, which is you can have the PDF and other uh, other uh, string outputs as well. So it's again managed by the our macro templates and and the render board. So I would like to point one thing here is if you want to write your if you want to prepare your CSP or a PDF, it's simply managed by the macro template, and you can define uh, in the screen. I want this screen to be rendered as a PDF. Uh, with this uh, macro template and you can simply uh, all your screen which is uh, there will be shown in the PDF or if you want to show it in HTML it's by default there. So these are some use cases where you can use this uh, macro template. So uh, Pranay, uh, I, I just try to uh, try to include this uh, uh, macro template thing in, in a brief. So do you want me to uh, have some more light on it? So it's fine uh, or is it fine we can move forward? No, I guess that is fine. Uh, from from here, we can pick it up. So yeah, thank you Great. so much. Great, thank you so much. Right. So uh, now I will uh, take a new topic, which is a really simple topic, and uh, which is basically the XML forms. So again, I am going to the uh, uh, official document uh, available on the Mocky website, and I'm opening it. So uh, so it's it's a very pretty much very very simple topic, right? So. Uh, uh great so xml forms so you can see uh whenever you open any any of the on um, of the back end screen or or for that matter any screen you will see two type of screen one is the one is the uh uh one is the listing of the of the data and another which is the which is the uh what do you call it as the uh maybe you are inserting a form kind of thing means uh, having a, a label and the value label and the value label and the value kind of pattern so either will you have a, a something like table pattern or you will have something like uh, you can see like i have here it's a simple uh, key value uh, means uh, the label and the uh, in, in front of it you have the another drop down or text something like this so there are two two uh, majorly patterns you will follow in, in throughout the mock and in general there are two types of this particular ui which will show on the screen so this is nothing but the, this is the simply form so there are two types of form one is a single and another is a list for example if i want uh, 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 want to show some uh, uh, label and some values like this for example like i'm click on the uh, example detail page this is its label, this is its value, this is its label, its value, its label, and its value is its drop down. So this is nothing but a single form, which is having the value and uh, the label and the value value kind of thing. And then we have a button. So this is the, uh, the single form. And then we have a list form. So list form you have uh, seen already, uh, whenever we hit this uh, particular find example screen this is basically the list uh, list form so we will go into detail how we write it so uh, I, I will give, give you the live example it will be more clear to you then right so we have a various kind of forms fill right uh, what kind of forms fills fills widget and then uh, then we have the single form so let me let me uh, show you the uh, the first the list form so uh, as we have taken this example, and I can see uh, this is my list, which is rendering here. So how this, uh, uh, how this rendered? So you can see uh, my screen has a widget uh, section, right? Widget tag. So all my UI related stuff goes here. So in this widget, you can see this is my dollar box, which is opened when I, when I click on the create example. You can see just below this, I have this form list, right? So uh, this form list, is rendered whatever you can see like this is is due to this form list now what form list have it have a name and it take as an input at which list which you want to render here so uh, again it's the uh, it's a list which we want to render here and uh, 
then there are some other other tags like uh, what should be uh, the header dialog show the uh, select the columns show csv option see uh, uh, these are the csv options i can simply click here and i this particular input will get into the csv isn't it simple and magic means how how uh, coding is simple here if i want to uh, export this as csv i have a tag here show csv button uh, show pdf button if i want to uh, just uh, uh, translate this particular you uh, uh, i want the pdf of this particular list i can simply click on the pdf so there are other fields again it's a library uh, the more you code the more you refer the example code or existing code you will get more idea for, about it so this form list is rendering here and just to give you uh, idea this example list is fetched in the action tag so as we discussed we have uh, various tags available in this screen one tag is action tag so all the data which is required for uh, for 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 uh, rendering that is screen means the data which we need on that is screen is is fetched from this uh, action tag so in action tag what we have done is we have simply hit the example entity and all the results of this example entity is fetched and it is shown uh, in stored in this list and this list is rendered here right so this is this is uh, very simple right now we want which fields we want to render so you can see my first field is example id so this is my example id and uh, what what we want to uh, uh, show here is we want to show here is a link the url should be at this example and the text should be dollar example id so uh, basically this uh, uh, this particular list will be auto iterated in the form list and all its uh, uh, fields which are available there for example example list uh, uh, we are fetching from the example entity so it has a, a, a field name example id so it will be mapped from here and it will be shown here so this is the field uh, and you can see there are again uh, various type of uh, 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 tags available here like name and print width and all that stuff so again i i just want to for example I, example name i want to show only the uh, 40 uh, width so i can just define it here so uh, again it's library uh, uh, the more you use the more you will get understand what are the different texts and attributes available here my next uh, next field is uh, example name uh, we have taken it from the example name then we have the example type so uh, you can see uh, in in entity example uh, type is uh, maybe the type id but we want to show our end user as a uh, as as its choice uh, uh, Kevin, sorry, uh, you were saying something? Okay, okay. We uh, got something your voice is breaking. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Deepak, uh, uh, is, it, is it fine now, Deepak? Uh, yes, Sapnil, it's fine now. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, we got a question from Arun. Uh, we can say it has an input form. Uh, uh, maybe, it, uh, okay, so it was, uh, uh, I, I hope you are referring to the, uh, the single form which we have mentioned earlier. The answer is yes, it is something like input form. And sorry, I, I missed your question. Uh, so, is it, is it final? We can proceed further. I hope I answered your uh, yeah. question correctly. Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So yeah, that that single form is like like uh, input form you want to use, right? Uh, great. So now our list form is like this. I Means uh, I want to rendering this uh, example list here. So I was in the topic where where we had this uh, example type ID, but you can see. Here the description of this type uh, type is shown. So it is fetched from the, uh, you can actually have, uh, uh, you can write your code means in particular field, you can also fetch data from another entity as well. So you, we have field here auto widget entity, uh, and then we have a, a display entity mock enumeration. So in particular, mm -hmm. this enumeration, uh, the type of uh, uh, example enum ID is saved. So let's not go detail on it. You can just, uh, more have a look uh, what type of data is is there it's basically the type is example type is enumeration so we use display entity tag and the enumeration and since uh, example uh, uh, the enumeration id is passed it will means it's already uh, available in the in, in in rendering this in the context of rendering this list so it will automatically render so this is how this particular all uh, uh, all this uh, list is rendered and uh, you can see uh, there's an option called show order by uh, on the date so it's uh, if i say this as a true 
this is visible uh, here. If, if, if it's set is a false or we just simply hide it, it will not be shown here, right? Right. So, uh, and for example, I, I, I want to, uh, how I just want to display it, it's uh, defined in the field stack. Uh, so this is about the list uh, listing of the uh, form. So if I go back, uh, this is the, uh, so we have these two topics, one of the list form. I click on here and you can see this is all the attributes which we have uh, discussed here. This is a, a, a form a list form look something like this. And uh, all the details which we have just discussed are, are, are shown here. And uh, then we uh, then we when you come to the single form, it is uh, it is uh, the uh, it is a single form which is which is uh, shown here, right? So. Uh, Right. So, uh, Arun, I would like to just extend your uh, your uh, question here. Uh, uh, one way I can use the single form to take the input, like I am taking it here, or I can simply use a single form to just show uh, for displaying the thing. For example, I click on this uh, example ID, and you can see currently this is all our editable, but I can uh, uh, have this these two particular fields. Like I, I can show the ID and I can show the test, and and no editable option. So I can use single form for only, show, only showing the information as well. Not necessarily; it's always the update option. Cool. Great. Okay. Uh, so okay. Thank, you. Uh, thank you. Great. Thank you. Great. So uh, again, uh, uh, it is uh, just a magic of uh, how uh, knowledge you have uh, of the text you are available and what are the text which are available in the field. So it's documented uh, here, and it's also available in the XSD of a particular uh, particular component. So uh, I, I generally follow this practice whenever I have, I have a question on, on any of the tag. I generally refer the XSD because uh, we also have some details available there. So you can also follow that practice. And again, the more you uh, look into this uh, pattern and the tags, and the more you used it, you will be more efficient in using the uh, XML forms and same applies to all other part of the uh, of the framework. So uh, with this, I would like to uh, uh, conclude the session on the screen and form. And I'm open to uh, if you are having any questions, uh, uh, I'm, uh, we can discuss on that. So yeah, thank you. So uh, Swapnil, uh, we have this question from Suraj. There is this one question from Suraj. Yeah. Okay. Uh, will this auto widget get data? Uh, uh, will this auto widget gets data on runtime or create some uh, dynamic view at, at the back end? So uh, 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 basically, uh, auto widget. Uh, Suja, I hope you are talking about this particular field, right? Auto uh, widget entity. Yeah. Great. So. Uh, Basically, uh, as for as for my understanding is there, it's basically uh, uh, it's get data on runtime or create some uh, dynamic view uh, uh, in the back end. Uh, can you can please elaborate some more on the question means? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like for every entity, uh, it gets the status value by hitting the status uh, item every time or create some view with the example entity. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Right, right. So uh, maybe uh, as far as I, 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 uh, I basically just sharing my experience and the uh, idea which 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 is there. Uh, it generally uh, get it from the entity. I'm not sure if, if it is create the view entity there. Uh, it's a good question, and we should explore mm -hmm. it. And maybe we can uh, pose this question on 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 the user list available on the mocky but as far as i know i think it uh, directly uh, hit on the entity and get it from there mm -hmm. but uh, yes uh, something i think yes uh, it's hit directly on the entity and it used the cache okay to okay. get a cache uh, that is maintained by the mocky so each time it does not uh, communicate with the database it first check it from the data cache mm -hmm. if uh -huh. data exists in cache it rendered it there else it will go to the uh, sql hit mm -hmm. great great Great, thank you so much, Deepak. It's it's always a uh, privilege and honor to have you at because you <laughs> always have, have answers to our difficult questions. So thank you so much. And uh, yes, Suraj, it was really very nice questions and 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 good learning for me as well. Thank you so much for this. Great. 
Thanks, Deepak and Sobhna. Great. Great. So, uh, did we get any new question? Uh, no. Right. So, uh, so uh, are, are we good to conclude this session? Uh, Yeah, Swapnil, I think we are good. Uh, just so everyone know that we are going to upload the recording of this session on YouTube. The name of the channel on YouTube is Hotwax Developers. So you can anytime, uh, obviously you should go ahead and subscribe to that channel because uh, whenever we do such sessions, we are going to upload the recordings there and you'll get the notifications. At the same time, videos are always going to be available. Uh, it will be a handy reference for learning any of the open source frameworks that we do such sessions on so we'll 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 put we'll be having a good library of all such videos there so yeah mm -hmm. thank you so much Abnil, for your time today it was definitely a very uh, uh, fruitful session for all of us who are learning Mocky, and we look forward to more such sessions from uh, other participants as well in this uh, in this journey of learning Mocky together so yeah, I guess uh, we can close the session. Thank you so much, yeah. and I would also like to thank all the participants for sparing uh, their time today for for this. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Prana. And yeah, again, as this uh, uh, video is up, uh, available on the YouTube, you can simply post your question there as well. Uh, we are watching uh, the comments and happy to answer you there as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much to all uh, all of you to sparing your time with uh, with us and. Uh, Thanks, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sopneel. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Prana. Bye.